Good morning, audience. We're up kind of early today. Got lots of running around to do. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. Look at all the apples. What are we doing? We didn't make it to the farm last night, so we're going now. Yeah, it was a little late. Look, guys, stuff is growing. There's a bunch of Roma tomatoes. Look, we got red tomatoes over here, peppers. So for being first time that we've done this in a long time, and we ended up, and considering it's been so dry, it's rained, what, four days? That's it? <laughs> for the past month. For the past month, yeah. So we've got food. How cool is that? When we were at the farm, we were telling you guys about how we haven't really had much rain at all this summer literally four or five days if that very little rain mm -hmm. and we wanted to show you the effect it's having on Michigan farmers in our area that is corn and as you can tell it's very sad looking it's very how tall it should be what yeah that's probably only waist high yeah it should be taller than me yeah it should it should be taller than these weeds here oh yeah for sure <laughs> This whole entire field is a loss. So these people put all these money and all this money into planting this entire field of corn, and they're not going to get anything out of it. Doesn't look like it. And this isn't the only field that looks like this. We're driving through farm country right now, and a lot of these fields look like this. And a lot of these people plant stuff like this to feed their animals, and I don't know mm -hmm. how they're going to feed their animals. They'll have to buy. Food from somewhere so else. since they're gonna have to buy food from somewhere else they're gonna have to buy food to feed their animals the price of feeding their animals is gonna go up so the price of the meat's gonna go up so the price of all this stuff is gonna go up because the demand is higher well think about it if they don't have enough food to feed their animals maybe they'll just uh, replenish the market with some animals so maybe but maybe not the they're not all the gonna be ready again. to go to market yet no that's true too I don't know, I'm worried about, I have, we have a lot of friends that run yeah. farms and it's, it's scary right now. Yeah, corn's a good grain, they grind it up and uh, feed it, yeah. like by the buckets. Not this daily. corn. <laughs> Not that corn. I think, I think we used to feed 40 cows about, I think it was two five gallon buckets of grain. Really? Uh, Jamie used uh, to work on a cow farm. Yep, and it was, uh, that was twice a day we'd give them grain, but we'd also give them hay too, you know, because you diversify what they eat, they can't eat the same right. thing all the time. Gosh, look at how I short know. it is. Oh, that's just crazy. Wow, well, my Jeep made it over top. That's crazy. It did. Jamie's it looks Jeep good there. bounced over the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up in Roger City. It wasn't planned, but we didn't really have a plan for today, and we're heading over there to this craft show. Yeah. For a little bit. Let's see if they have any stained glass birds from our favorite stained glass <laughs> bird maker. lady. No offense, Aunt Pat. No offense, Aunt Pat. We like your stained glass too. So, yeah, we're going to go walk around until I get hot, which probably won't take that long. No. I it's, mean, there's a cool breeze and some clouds coming, yeah. but it's blue sky and sun. Yeah. It's, it's getting warm. So, we'll see. I just saw that car that said I love Black Lake. Oh, right. Huh. Anyway, we're going over there. <laughs> so, Jamie and I are here trying all of the Pam's Pantry stuff, and we bought stuff. <laughs> now we have to go home and make stuff. Yes. <laughs> mm, delicious. Dan and Crystal, check these out. You like that maple syrup? Those look good. <laughs> so, we found a whole bunch of stuff. Mainly food. Because <laughs> nice. we're really good at buying food and things when we come to these types of shows. But now we are making our way back to the Jeep because as I said, I got too warm. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's definitely sunny still. Yep. Sunny! <laughs> hey wait, you can't show that. <laughs> so we, we got roasted nuts. We got roasted almonds and roasted pecans. But the almonds today are better. We bought them from two different people because we were trying to support people and we have a cucumber as well <laughs> that came from the farm though yeah it did. you ever wonder how all of the toys what are you following me for i didn't pet any animals you ever wonder how all the toys end up outside it's because this one brings them outside gee look shelby did you just bring this outside she's like i didn't want to play with it i just wanted to bring him outside you can't leave him out here honey she's bringing all the toys outside that's how we ended up with all those outside toys 
<laughs> Sitting here making some noodle salad and I noticed there's a cardinal in the cherry tree. Right there. That's as zoomed in as I can get. But he's just hanging out in the cherry tree. <laughs> So the other day I made spaghetti for dinner for Jamie and I and I always make the entire box of noodles because I take the leftover spaghetti noodles and I make spaghetti salad. Well that's what I did here. I made spaghetti salad and we picked one of the cucumbers right there from the farm and I cut it up and put it in there and it's just spaghetti noodles, a little bit of hard, this is what I did this time, spaghetti noodles, a little bit of hard salami, a little bit of mild peppers, a little bit of cucumbers and Italian dressing. You can put different things in it. I'll add cheese to it before we eat it too. But yeah. So leftover spaghetti noodles makes awesome noodle salad. Now I'm going to make one of the dips that we got at the craft show. This is from Pam's Pantry. They make some amazing mixes and what's cool is you get the mix and it's all the little like ingredients and herbs and stuff and for this one all you need is eight ounces of sour cream and some cream cheese and then you just mix it all together. Here, here's all the information on it if you guys want to check them out. Pam'spantry.net So um... The dogs informed us that there is something down here. Other than a styrofoam cup and two pools. Yeah. That pool was down there too and Jamie just moved it and we saw something. <laughs> and then I saw an ant and thought it was what we saw. I think we can make him come oh, out again. Oh, there he is. Oh, look, there He's he is. He's on the bottom step. Hey, buddy. What are you doing, chipmunk friend? He's like, I was looking for some water, you guys. Trust me, you don't want to be in this yard. <laughs> this is not the yard you want to be in. Yeah. See me, guys? He's right there. Yeah, We're just trying to so. save you. You're lucky I got the dogs in before <laughs> Oakley's barking like mad. Right. You're lucky I got the dogs in before uh, they made it down these steps. That's water from the hose. There he is. He's on the other side. Peeking his little head out. Dude, you probably want to go. Hi. Hey. How are you? How's it going? Nice to meet you finally. How's it going? How are you? Don't worry. They're in the house. Yep, they're in the house. I'm out of here. You See you later. <laughs> Memphis, what happened? What happened? So we're taking the pools out of here so he can't hide down here anymore. Which hopefully will be a good thing, which means he won't hide here anymore. Right? I let the girls back out since Chipmunk Friend left, and they're all like, hey, we know he was down there. We, we saw him go down there. Yeah, you did. And we saved him from you. Memphis seems to be 100% sure that Chipmunk Friend is still down there. He's not down there. He already escaped the yard. You didn't catch him this time. <laughs> Ugly, are you getting scratches? Are you getting scratches? She's like, I guess I will take some scratches. <laughs> Sometimes she likes scratches. So like, but I have to lick any any exposed <laughs> skin if you're gonna scratch me. I don't know what else to do with myself. Whoa, look at the Oakley fur fly. Woo! <laughs> uh, silly thing. All right, whistle reaction. She, she thinks I have it in my hand. <laughs> the whistle? Jump right on you! Whoop! She's underneath me! There she goes! <laughs> Apparently that's how you start her motors. Whoa! Sit. Sit. <laughs> Good luck with that. Sit. She's like, whoa! I don't know what I think about that. Nobody else cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> yep, no reaction. Memphis, where did you go? Somebody started that puppy's motor. She found the pool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's so wet. <laughs> there she goes. And she's coming around. And she goes. Say she's gonna leap over something. I thought it was gonna be you. <laughs> Here she goes. She's like, quick turn, jump. <laughs> she's like, I'm so happy it's not 90 degrees. 
Oh, down the steps. Apparently down the steps is a thing now. <laughs> Puppy zoomies! She splashed herself in the face. What are you doing? Is that good? Is that all the zoomies you got? Ah, you're wet! She's like, wait, you're zooming in the pool? You're such a dork, puppy. What are we gonna do with you? <laughs> All right, I showed you guys we made the garlic dill dip. Now we're taking ham and putting the dip on it and putting pickles in it and making like cream cheese ham roll-ups. Mm -hmm. these, these are gonna be amazing. They already smell amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just roll them up. Mm. Like that. Oops, stick that back in there. And then eat them. There's a bite. There's Not a bite. for you. There's a bite. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Oh, what happened when you dreaming? <laughs> Did Shelby move and wake you up? Huh? Did Shelby move and wake you up? She's like, go back into my dream, guys. Back into my dream. Look at her. <sighs> All right, you guys. We're getting ready to go to bed. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. We are going to bed. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Did you make it back into your dream yet? Don't you hate that when you wake up from a dream and then you can't fall asleep and get back into it? You're going to get up in a minute and follow me to bed anyway. <laughs> uh, good night, audience. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.